On the 22nd of November 1995, the world received Toy Story, and it was groundbreaking. It was the first film of its kind, a feature-length film, entirely computer animated. And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Hello? Oh, yeah. ah! Whoa! Hey, whoa! Today, CGI is a staple part of Hollywood, and it's something that we're all used to. But back in the early 90s, the idea of a CGI-only film was crazy. And it was only with the release of films like Toy Story and Jurassic Park where people really began to see its potential. I'm gonna make a fortune with this place. As of August 2018, Pixar's films have grossed 13 billion at the box office worldwide. But yet, despite their continued growth in popularity and technical ability, each and every character that you see on screen still starts here. And here. And here. And when you think about it, what that really means is that two household items are foundational to a multi-billion dollar company. Which is great news for me, because today my brief is to dive into the world of illustration and create a brand new character for the Pixar universe. The first step was research, so I decided to set aside an entire afternoon to try and watch as much Pixar as I could. I know, tough gig. I started watching a bit of Finding Nemo, then I watched some of The Incredibles, uh, some Cars 2, Monsters Inc, and finally some of Toy Story. And in between watching these films and eating my body weight in popcorn, I started to notice these patterns. If we were meant to think a character was cute, they were often given these big eyes and big heads. If we were meant to admire a character, they were often given larger, more mature, but yet smooth features. And if we were meant to hate a character, they were often given quite ugly, quite sharp features. And I think this iconic shot between Scar and Mufasa probably best illustrates that point. If you look at Jafar, he's this very angular, sharp character. And if you look at Genie, he's, he's more soft and he's like a big blob. This is Kesh. He is an illustrator and a filmmaker based in Chennai, India, and he definitely knows how to draw. Drawing is less about actually drawing. It's actually more about seeing stuff. You can usually draw anything with a combination of these five points. So you got to learn to see stuff and you got to take those things that you see and learn to break them into basic forms. And most importantly, like, have fun. Before starting any sketches, I had to pick an existing film to place my character within. And I ended up going for a film that I thought would allow for the most experimentation. Monsters Incorporated. We scare because we care. Something that Pixar is really well known for is their attention to detail. And to get this, they actually send their artists out into the real world. So for Up, they send the artists to Venezuela. For Ratatouille, they sent them to a French kitchen. And for Brave, they sent them to Scotland. Monsters were, admittedly, much harder to find. So I unfortunately had to skip this step. I decided to kick things off by heading over to my second studio and just starting to sketch the first thing that came to my head. And very quickly, I realized that this was a terrible idea. I ended up with a drunk egg and angry duck and I I don't know what that is. I began to sketch Mike and Sully directly from a photo just to get the ball rolling and it really did help. And very quickly I found myself drawing this kind of dinosaur character. I knew that Mike was the coach and Sully was the athlete so I needed to kind of add a, a new element to that dynamic and I went with the smart, analytical, geeky type character. The next day I was back in the flat and I started by googling images of dinosaurs for reference. I'm an absolute muppet. Uh, I've just been googling dinosaurs to kind of get reference and I've just realised that Pixar made a film, an entire film about dinosaurs, which would have probably been a good place to start. Once I had all of my references set up, I got to work and very quickly actually the character started to develop a personality. I did however see one small problem. I've just stepped away from sketching and I have realised it's just a full-blown dinosaur. There is zero monster going on, so I need to go back in, kind of add just a splash of monster. I then refined it a bit further and then it was ready for the next step. The sketch provided me with this really nice skeleton to work from, but it was actually quite scruffy. So when I threw it into Illustrator, I started to use simple shapes to make sure that I got the proportions correct before I started to focus on the detail. I found that working on his eyes instantly brought him to life, and then the addition of things like braces and a hat and a clipboard really gave him a personality. By the end of the day, my brain was absolute mush, uh, but I ended up with a character that I was actually really proud of. So on that note, I would like to introduce you to Frank. Frank is a data analyst who's been working at Monsters Incorporated for the past five years. He likes to play Sudoku on the weekends, and his best friends are Mike and Sully, even though they make fun of him for being 65 million years old. I enjoyed the challenge. Uh, when I was younger, I thought I'd be an animator for Disney when I grew up, so it was nice to kind of flirt with that fantasy. 
Um, as for Frank, I love Frank. I think he looks fantastic. I'm fully aware that I kind of bottled his arms. They look a bit shit, but arms are just too, too difficult to sketch. And let's be honest, Frank is still definitely a dinosaur. So I need to update the DVD cover. If you end up trying this challenge yourself, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I would love to see the results. Maybe you make a friend for Frank, who knows? Uh, all of that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.